But despite enjoying favorite son status at the White House, the coal industry is still fighting for the hearts and minds of the American people. Their newest weapon of choice in the epic PR battle aimed at convincing America that the act of burning coal to make fuel is somehow clean? It's a choir of singing lumps of coal who blink too much and regale you with doctored versions of treasured Christmas carols promoting the many benefits of coal. You want to see a really disturbing rendition of Frosty the Snowman? Check this out. Frosty the Coal Man is a jolly, happy soul. He's abundant here in America and he helps our economy roll. Frosty the Coal Man's getting cleaner every day. He's affordable and adorable and his workers keep their pay. Uh, you know, nothing warms the heart during the holiday season like a treasured children's holiday song repurposed into a slightly disturbing animated marketing jingle. But if, if you're not happy with that, how about turning the most famous song in English about the birth of Jesus into a commercial for the coal industry? Um, you guys know what that song was about before you changed the words to make it about coal, right? Where are all those war on Christmas people when you need them? Joining us now is Brian Hardwick, who is a spokesman for the Reality Coalition, a cooperative effort between several environmental groups. Thanks very much for coming on the show tonight, Brian. Thanks for having me, Rachel. Uh, first things first, I got to ask you, what is clean coal? Uh, well, it, clean coal is an oxymoron to start with. It sort of reminds you of uh, when the tobacco companies used to say healthy cigarettes. Um, it is, uh, it's a, uh, what you said, it's a marketing ploy by the coal industry to try to convince people that, uh, that coal is somehow clean despite the fact that it is the dirtiest way that we produce electricity currently in the United States and uh, the global warming pollution uh, that it puts out, that coal puts out is equal to what cars and trucks put out. Uh, so it's, uh, it, it, it is just that. It's a, uh, it's a bad marketing uh, ploy by the coal industry. I, I am struck, though, by the PR strategy of, uh, and granted, this is a web campaign that we are highlighting here because it made coffee shoot out my nose when I saw it this morning when I logged <laughs> online and heard about it. Um, you and but, me both. Yeah, but it, it, what strikes me here is that this is a PR technique that is aimed at the American consumer. This is broadly trying to make Americans like the idea of coal and feel cuddly about it. Is this part of a broader PR strategy by the coal industry? Uh, this one I don't really understand. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this one is truly bizarre. Um, uh, the part I love about this uh, this web game is that you get to dress up the lump of coal, yeah. um, like with a with a scarf or a hat. But the problem is, no matter how you dress it up, uh, coal is not clean today in America. The reality is that it's it is uh, it is the dirtiest way we produce energy. And um, our, our campaign at thisisreality.org is out saying, hey, look. Let's just talk about reality, and reality is that it doesn't exist today, and we want to let the American people know that uh, those are the facts. Well, if you go to Barack Obama's uh, website under the heading uh, Create Millions of New Green Jobs, one of the, the planks in the plan is to develop and deploy clean coal technology. You're making the case that it doesn't exist. The coal company is marketing itself as not only clean but cuddly, and the new Democratic president is using the terminology. Um, it doesn't seem like you guys are winning the PR war against the coal industry on this. Well, we, ju we just launched last Thursday, Rachel, but we, uh, you know, I, I don't speak for the president-elect, obviously, um, but uh, as I understand it, what he means by clean coal technology, it would be technology that would be put in place that would capture all of the carbon pollution from coal-burning fire plant, uh, power plants. And we, you know, we would agree with that. That'd be great if coal could do that. But the, the, the bottom line is today it's an illusion. And, and given what the scientists tell us about uh, the threat of global warming and how urgent the climate crisis is, we can't afford to create an illusion for the American people and hang our hat on an illusion and make it seem like coal is going to be part of our energy future when we're facing such an important um, uh, climate crisis. And so, um, you know, he, he's talked to, I think President-elect Obama's talked about some money for R&D for this um, for this technology, but the, you know, the coal industry also has to step up and do it. And if they, if they can uh, safely capture and store all of the carbon uh, pollution from their from the power plants then more power to them they should be part of it but uh, they ought to spend their money doing that and not on this uh, you know multi-million dollar marketing effort which is nonetheless 
very exciting and sacrilegious <laughs> and worthy of discussion on this program. That, um, Brian Hardwick, right. spokesman for the Reality Coalition, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thanks, Rachel. Uh, coming up next, I get just